Hello and welcome! In this video, we're going to learn how to set up ML Agents in Unity. This video follows the general steps of another tutorial on YouTube, but I decided to take a more direct and simple approach. Step 1. Install the requirements. So first, we'll need to install a few things. Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable, Optional, NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, Miniconda, ML Agents. Let's start with the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. You can find the link in the description. Wow. Just download and install it. It's a simple process. Okay. Now, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can install the CUDA Toolkit to speed up training. If not, you can skip this step. Make sure you install version 12.1.1 because it matches the version required by PyTorch. Again, link is in the description. For CUDA, I'm on Windows, so I choose Operating System, Windows Architecture, x86-60 Installer, .exe, Local then choose Express Installation. After that, install CUDNN version 9.5 with the same settings. Step 2. Install Miniconda. Go to anaconda.com slash download, enter your email, and hit Submit. And scroll down to Miniconda Installers. Download the Windows version. Once installed, open the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Now, let's create a new environment for ML agents. Use the following command. Conda create dash n ML agents python equal 3.10.12. Type y to create. I've already created it. Then activate this environment using this command. Conda activate ML agents. Then install the required packages. First, numpy. Then install PyTorch using this command you see on the screen. Step 3. Install ML Agents. Go to the ML Agents GitHub page and scroll down to the latest release, which is release 22 at the time of this recording. Download the zip file. Go to your Unity project folder, for me it's in Documents Unity, and extract the zip file there. Rename the folder to ML Agents. Open PowerShell and run this command and this command. Step 4. Open the Unity project. Now, open Unity Hub. Click Add, then navigate into the ML Agents folder. Scroll to Project and open it. Go to Assets, ML Agents, Examples, Basic, Scenes, and open the Basic Scene. Here, you'll see an agent trying to find the biggest reward, the larger ball. It learns by trial and error, losing small rewards for each step and earning big ones when it reaches the goal. Step 5. Training in Unity. Open PowerShell again and start the training process. Unity will wait for connection. Hit the play button in the Unity editor. Now the agent is learning. It will slowly improve as it trains, finding the goal faster over time. Step 6. Check training progress and resume or restart. If you stop the training now and go back to the PowerShell window, you'll see the training progress. Things like reward values, steps, and other stats. If you've reached this point without any errors, then your agent is training properly and everything is set up correctly. Good to know. Now if you want to restart the training using the same run ID, like turtle agent, just add dash dash force to the command. This will start training from scratch. If you want to resume the training from where it stopped, use dash dash resume. Step 7. Create your own agent. <laughs> Let's make our own simple scene. Create a new Unity project. Name it something like Turtle Agent. Thanks, I'll just take it from here. Inside the editor, add an empty game object. Call it environment and reset its position. Add a plane as the floor, then surround it with four cubes as walls. Scale and position them to form a box. For the agent, use a cylinder, and add a small cube indicating the front of the agent. Add a sphere as the goal, name it something like goal or cookie. Set its collider to is trigger. Tag it as goal, capital G. Tag the walls as wall, capital W. Add a rigid body to the agent. 
and freeze its X and Z rotation. Step 8. Add the Turtle Agent script. Create a new c -sharp script called Turtle Agent and attach it to your agent. Also, remove the unnecessary collider on the front object and adjust the bottom of the agent's collider. Install the ML Agents package through Unity's Package Manager. Go to Window, Package Manager, select Unity Registry, search for ML Agents, and install version 3.0.0. I've already installed that, but for you, you will have the install button right there. So go ahead and install that. Step 9. Configure the agent. I've already written the main agent script for the turtle, and it includes clear comments and explanations to help you understand what's going on. You'll find a link to this script in the description. Once you've downloaded the script, go ahead and attach it to your turtle object, the cylinder. When you do that, Unity will automatically add a behavior parameters component. Inside the behavior parameters, change the behavior name to Turtle. Set the vector observation space size to 5. We use 5 observations in the script, so this matches. In actions, branch 0, set the size to 4, because our agent can do 4 things. Turn left, turn right, move forward, do nothing. Next, add a decision requester component. This tells the agent when to request a new action from the train model. Set max step to something like 20,000 so the agent has enough steps to complete an episode. Now drag the goal object, the cookie or chocolate ball, as I've renamed it in my scene, into the goal field in the agent script. You can also create a new game object called GUI Turtle Agent. This will hold a simple UI component we're about to add. I already created the script for this as well. It's in the same folder linked in the description. Download it, and when you add the script to the UI object, just drag and drop the turtle agent into its assigned field. Step 10. Start training. Head to PowerShell, activate your environment if it is not, type conda activate ml agents. Access to the project folder. For me, I have it in the Unity folder. Run this command for training, wait for Unity logo, then head to the Unity editor and hit play. The agent will start learning. And meanwhile, I have a riddle for you. How many Patreons do I have? Zero? 79? 230? And the right answer is... Zero! Bro, literally no one cares. Yes, they do. I made a buy me a coffee link to prove you wrong. Uh, for the love of God, just give this peasant some coffee. Now back to our agent. It gets punished for bumping into walls or wasting steps and rewarded for reaching the goal. If it doesn't reach the goal in 20,000 steps, 5,000 in your case, it restarts the episode and tries again. Step 11. Manual testing. Before training, you can test the agent manually using the heuristic method. Set behavior type to heuristic only, then hit play. Use the arrow keys to control it and see how it moves. Step 12. Accelerate training with multiple agents. To speed things up, create an empty parent for your environment, then duplicate your environment into multiple copies. Now all the agents are sharing the same brain and same experiences. Add the object layout script provided in the files to help you organize the environments cleanly. Make sure all agents use the same behavior type default. Now, if you want to resume the same training session, just use the same run ID and add dash dash resume. Or if you want to start from scratch, use dash dash force. After that, wait for the Unity logo and the message that says you can now press play in the Unity editor. Once you hit play, all the agents will start learning together. They're sharing the same experience, which means the training will go a lot faster. If we check PowerShell now, we can see the mean reward going up. That's a good sign that the agents are actually learning. You also notice the agents start heading directly to the goal more often. When we stop the training, it will automatically save the model as an Onyx file. This file is the trained brain we can use in Unity without needing Python anymore. Just plug it into your agent and it will act based on what it learned. No backend required. 
Step 13. Use the trained model. Create a folder in Unity called AI Models and move the trained.onnx file there. Here is how you find the trained model. Go to your Projects Files Results Turtle Agent on an X file. Drag it to your AI model folder you created. Drag and drop the .onnx file into the model field. In the behavior parameters of your agent, set behavior type to inference only. Now your agent will use the trained brain without needing Python. But where you were, Jay? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Or just leave a like. I mean, whatever. Do what you want, no pressure. Just do both to make someone happy. Sorry about that. Step 14. Customize training length. If you want to adjust how long your agent trains for, here's how to do that. Go to your Unity project folder. Create a new folder and call it config. Download the YAML file from the link in the description and move it into the config folder. Open the file with any text editor. Inside, you'll see a few training parameters. The important one for now is max steps. By default, it's set to 50,000, which means the training stops after 50k steps. If you want to let it train longer, just increase that number to something like 200,000 or more. To use this configuration when training or resuming, mlagentslearn config n slash turtle dot yaml dash dash run id equals turtle agent and dash dash resume. And that's it! Your agent is now trained, saved, and ready to use in Unity without any Python running in the background. Thanks so much for watching, and may your rewards be high and your episodes short. See you in the next one!